So what is the Makey Makey? It's a simple circuit board. It's an Arduino, kinda. It's a mouse. It's a keyboard. And honestly, it's a ton of other stuff too. Still a little bit confused? Well, stay tuned for the explanation, but also open this video in another tab and don't forget to subscribe to Channel Super Fun to see the crew playing Mario, Counter-Strike Go, and even a song with this little device. Experience silent performance with the new Cooler Master Silencio 652S. Minimalist design, maximum compatibility. Click now to learn more. So while we've obviously been playing with this thing for a while, as you saw in that other video, the purpose of this video is to give you a more in-depth view of how exactly the Makey Makey allowed us to do what we're doing and to plant some ideas in your mind for ways that it might be able to be used for fun or practical applications. So the boring explanation of how this little guy works is that it facilitates the completion of a circuit through a signal and ground connection and then sends information based on the completion of said circuit over USB to a computer which will then take that data as a keyboard or mouse input and hopefully produce a result. But boring explanations are, well, boring. And the Makey Makey is anything but that. So what can you do with this thing? Well, hopefully you've seen what we've done on the channel Super Fun. How do I? <laughs> what? Wow. Uh -huh. But that was just barely scratching the surface of its capabilities. And there will probably be future Channel Super Fun videos dedicated to some of the awesome ideas we have floating around in the office. There are already loads of videos of people playing music, making vegetables scream when you cut them, which is actually rather disturbing, along with things like water pianos and interactive dance floors. But the point of this video is to give you the 100 foot view of what this is from a hardware perspective. So let's do a quick overview of the physical unit. On one side, you'll see the more simplistic view, which has alligator clamp holes for the arrow keys, up, down, left, right, along with spacebar and left click amongst a neat circuit board design which features some cool hidden like gaming and music inspired art. Below this, you have the earth or ground bar. This side can also be used without any fancy wiring by simply plugging the board into a computer over USB. You can then hold a finger to the earth area and tap any input that you would desire with another finger to send that over to the computer. And when you do this, you'll even see a little LED light up so that you know it's working. On the other, more awesome side, we have access to all the same alligator connectors that we used to, but now through some jumper wire connectors, we have even more access to ground connections. WASD, F and G for keyboard inputs, up, down, left, left click and right click for mouse movement and mouse input in general, which is awesome. That's quite a few inputs to play with and a ton of fun. And this is all we used in our Makey Makey video for the channel Super Fun. But if you choose to follow the white rabbit, there's an opportunity to go deeper. By installing an Arduino IDE, also known as Integrated Development Environment, and grabbing the Makey Makey add-on from SparkFun, you can program your Makey Makey similarly to an Arduino. Don't worry, it's just some basic text editing, you'll be okay. This enables rebinding all of the inputs of the Makey Makey, which, in my opinion, makes it way more usable for real-world applications. And by binding these inputs to something you seldom use, like for myself, maybe an F key, you can get your keyboard's unused keys to do cool, interesting functions. I'm not going to spoil too many things that I'm might use on channel super fun but one thing that i'll probably do anyways is a conductive punching bag why a conductive punching bag well if you're getting frustrated with a game you could bind your f1 key to do an alt f4 macro and then if you get mad enough that you want to punch something you can punch the punching bag and it'll close the program for you Last but not least, there's a jumper wire connector at the top. Of these output connectors, we're gonna be focusing on D14 and D16 because they control output for keyboard and mouse respectively. Why would we need these output options? Well, while you can do a lot hooked up to your computer and that's pretty cool, this thing will make the Makey Makey a lot more versatile. Now, you can be more mobile with your inventions and creations and can have a much more integrated environment instead of being constantly hooked up to your computer. Unless that is your entire environment, in which case, feel free to carry on. But if you do decide to take advantage of these output options, you could do cool little things like hooking in an additional LED or much bigger things like home automation that I mentioned earlier. And you can use it to act as like an event trigger for motors or other self-powered devices. In conclusion, this thing is pretty freaking cool, and it seems like every time I even look at it, I think of more awesome ways that I can put it to use. 
It's relatively cheap and very easy for anyone to pick up due to its very wide skill range. And it can be used for a seemingly endless list of applications. And it happens to be one of those cool opportunities where it's a toy, but it happens to teach you things, like in this case, basic electronics and basic programming while you play with it. In those future Channel Superfund videos, is there anything you guys want to see us try? Let us know in the comments down below, or better yet, let us know on the forum. Speaking of awesome items that can teach you things, today's sponsor is iFixit, and you've probably used, or at least read, one of their thousands of in-depth teardowns or guides on their website. But what you might not know is that they have an awesome line of professional electronics tools. The crown jewel in this lineup is, of course, their ProTech toolkit with over 70 tools, including a 54-bit driver kit, nylon and metal spudgers, and an anti-static wrist strap. The ProTech Toolkit is a staple in our office, and whether you're fixing, say, a 3DS or a Shield, or trying to disassemble an iMac like Linus did in this video, which does require some extra tools, but all of which are available on iFixit sites, or if you want to improve your PC building experience with a better set of tools in general, the ProTech Toolkit is a great choice. It's available for only $64.95 from iFixit, but if you use our offer code, that's Linus02, you can save $10 off any purchase of $50 or more. So head over to our link, that's ifixit.com slash Linus, and save on some awesome tools today. All right, guys, don't forget to let me know in the comments down below or on the forum what kind of stuff you want to see us do with the Makey Makey. And if you want to see us do more kind of like little maker stuff, do you want to see stuff on Arduino? Do you want to see stuff on uh, like the flower board or any other kind of cool makery kind of things? I would like to do that, but need to know if, what you guys think. So let me know in those two different locations. Also, down below this video, if you check out the shirt link, you can get a cool shirt, which unfortunately isn't this one. I have rice on my shirt, that's awkward. <laughs> also, you can like, dislike uh, the video, whether or not you're wearing pants, because you can't tell if I am or not. And subscribe if you haven't done that already. Over on the forum, if you become a contributor, you can get rid of those ads, which aren't there yet, but will be there soon. And check out other cool things on the site, including the Help Linus Media Group button, which is in the top right-hand corner, where you can do stuff like change your Amazon link to give us a little kickback whenever you shop on that site. Thank you guys for watching and see you next time.